So let me explain how this whole thing got started. The whole thing got started by one, I typically sleep on this side of the van and it's a little longer, a little wider. So it's normally me and Rosie and we're hanging out and we leave this as sort of like our lounge area. Well, my son is gonna take a trip with me and he's a little taller, a little bigger than me. So I'm like, you know what? I'll give you this side. It's my favorite side, a little longer, a little wider, like I said, so he can sleep on that side. Well, then I realized I hadn't done anything to the side to make it more comfortable. So I had to like do some digging and figure out what I wanted to do. So essentially I did the same thing I did this side, which was buy a two inch mattress topper, cut it to fit. And now I think it's gonna be okay, but it's gonna be a little different to sit in. So it's gonna have like that little mushy, <laughs> you know, um, feel to it, which will be fine overall. But We'll test it out, see how it works, but I'm really excited to take a trip with my kiddo. Yay! He's going to come with me on my new trip. I'll be going through Indiana, Illinois. Oh gosh, Wisconsin. Yeah, we're going to go all the way to Wisconsin and then back down to Tennessee um, in a few weeks. So. All right, look what I got. A new mattress topper for the cushion in the van. This is going to be great. It's got a one, two, three, and I love a good one, two, three. Apparently, I need to open this up and let it air out, and then I'm going to cut it to fit the van. And you guys can tell me what you think about it. And we're going to do a sleep test and go from there. All right, so I've let this expand overnight. And now I've got the cushion that it's going to fit on. I'm going to move the blue padding and move it over to the cushion and cut it to the right length. Right of cut to fit it is feeling awesome oh my gosh what a huge difference so now i get to go put it in the van we'll do it for a big test and take a trip all right so this may sound really weird but i always have a waterproof mattress pad on my cushions because I have a dog and things happen whether it's muddy paws we're in the lake we're swimming sometimes we have accidents in the middle of the night for the dog not me it's the dog but anyways really handy to have this so if you don't have one in your RV especially when you have pets might be something to consider all right so let's get back to making the bed here we go All right, so upon further <laughs> I can't talk today. Upon further reflection, I realized I probably need to change my sheets. So let's put on some new sheets while we're doing this anyways. Let's do this. Okay, so now comes the real test. The real test is actually, you know, putting on the bed, laying down, checking out that way. Cause you know, before it was nice, but now I'm in the van. It's like, you know, the real proof. Let me go see how this works. I think it'll work. If you like watching fun van life videos and really cool hacks and tips on RV life, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button bell to get notified. I put out new videos twice a week and we do a live stream every Monday called Fun Day Monday. It's at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time and we have a lot of fun. So come on over, join us, and thanks for watching Charlie Grace Adventures.